to model high voltage circuit breaker let's create this circuit breaker this is high voltage circuit breaker as you can see so what are the parameters required to model a circuit breaker in ETF this is high voltage circuit breaker you can give the ID number here okay and here it is showing service in or out you can toggle the breaker position here is the state whether new or as built okay here is the configuration whether it is closed or open now go to the main parameter phase it already exists okay so give some others name go to the editing tab here as per NC or IEC so I am selecting as per IEC here are the circuit breaker main parameters I will come to that but before that let's go to the library to select one of the manufacturers uh, standard circuit breaker suppose let's select one uh, suppose ABB ABB make Let's select this 12 uh, this bd4 12 16 what is that 12 means is the rated kv 12 kv and 16 16 is the ac breaking capacity i will clarify what is that suppose i am selecting this one for 11 kb system you can use this breaker 12 kb rated making peak 80 let's select first i will explain what are the parameters sir okay now this is manufacturer abb this is the abb model uh, circuit breaker number model number here the rating is the rated kv which is 12 kb rated rated m rated ampere this is 3150 you can choose from the drop down list okay here is the making peak making peak when the circuit breaker uh, after the fault uh, fault interruption after the fault clearing when the breaker is going to make the circuit again that time it should have the withstand capability this 80 ka 80 kilo ampere and here is the breaking capacity breaking means in case of any fault in the system the circuit breaker will trip that time the circuit breaker is capable to break the short circuit fault current whose magnitude is 31.5 kilo ampere rms this is rms value and 80 kilo ampere this is the peak value this is 80 ka peak and 31.5 ka rms value here is the time constant circuit breaker time constant you can choose whether 4.45 second that means uh, 45 for 45 millisecond or 60 millisecond I will select 60 millisecond you can you can notice here for the 45 millisecond the percentage DC component is 48.03 if I select 60% time constant then this percentage DC value changed 57.69 what is that whenever we will uh, increase this value suppose 120 it will further decrease this percentage DC value Sixty 
सेवेंटी फाइव ओके सो दिस इज परसेंटेज डी सी कम्पोनेंट हियर इज द आई थर्मल दिस इज द थर्मल रिलेटेड शॉर्ट टाइम इंस्टेंट करेंट थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव के ए आई थर्मल एंड दिस इज रेटेड शॉर्ट टाइम रेटेड शॉर्ट टाइम थ्री थ्री सेकेंड सो दैट मीन्स इट कैन द सर्किट ब्रेकर कैन उथ स्टैंड द थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव के ए आर एम एस वैल्यू अप टू थ्री सेकेंड दिस इज द शॉर्ट सर्किट उथ स्टैंड कैपाबिलिटी एंड दिस इज यूजर डिफाइंड यू कैन यू कैन डिफाइन एनी अदर वैल्यूज दिस इज इन सेकेंड थ्री सेकेंड मिनिमम डिले here is the minimum uh, minimum delay so you can define the minimum uh, delay suppose i want to close the uh, circuit breaker after 60 millisecond so you can choose this 60 millisecond and accordingly you can see the percentage dc value is changing so that means uh, whenever uh, you are you know during the fault condition if you see Uh, suppose point zero to that means twenty millisecond. This percentage DC value will be more. You can see seventy one point six five percent. Whenever you are going uh, to increase the value, the percentage DC component is decreasing. Why? Why it is happening? Let's explain. Okay, you can see. during the uh, fault condition so first half cycle first half cycle this is the peak value because this dotted line in between this dotted line is the dc component this is the dc component so because of this uh, dc component the first few cycles particularly first half cycle is the peak value asymmetrical value is peak and also as you can see the dc component is decaying slowly it is decaying so because of that because of that whenever you are uh, giving the delay the circuit breaker uh, to offer it you are providing more delay that means the percentage dc component is decreasing here is the break time so you can you can choose from the drop down list so at what time you want to uh, break Break the circuit breaker, and this is FPC factor. That means first pole to clear factor. Uh, by default, it is one point three, and this is close, T close circuit breaker. Rated closing time point zero six second means sixty millisecond. So these are the main parameters. What is that? The uh, rated rated KV, rated amps. peak current breaking thermal withstand capability what is the rms kilo ampere and uh, for what time minimum delay and the break time so these are the main parameters of a high voltage circuit breaker